Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Dr. V, your Cajun Connection, coming to you from the West Bank of New Orleans, out right outside of a city called Gretna, old historic Gretna, uh, along old Highway 90. In the foreground, you can see the Mississippi Crescent City Connection, along with the skyline of New Orleans, along with the Super Dome over there in the distance. Uh, and then you have a, a ferry here, a working ferry is here on the west bank of New Orleans looking toward the city of New Orleans. I'm not sure what's going on here, but there seems to be some type of family reunion happening here. Uh, all the people gathered here, this is unusual. Uh, they give concerts out here because of the, where the location is. Lots of concerts are given in this open space right here. And there's some seating right here for those concerts. So you can see here those two stacks, those smokestacks over there, old uh, refinery. And a wharf, Chapatula Street Wharf. And so as we walk closer to the edge of the uh, bank, uh, again, as I told you in the previous uh, video, this distance between the river and the levee is called the Batcher. So we're walking along the Batcher, and different from outside in Gonzales, this was right outside the city of New Orleans. And so there's a lot more going on here, obviously, than what was going on there. So the river is pretty calm today. It's always calm, but you can it, it, sometimes it flows a little, a little uh, quicker. And today uh, it's a beautiful uh, fall day. No wind really to speak of. The skies are crystal clear. Not a cloud to be seen. And here we have a river boat over in the distance, uh, and just a few small waves lapping at the banks of the river. So these old, uh, largely uh, refurbished and repurposed uh, areas in these small towns, uh, they still are alive. I came over here because I thought maybe it would be a little less active, but in the era of COVID-19, you know, people are rediscovering some of these more quaint uh, places to entertain themselves, restaurants and downtown centers in small, in small towns. And just walking down the, the sidewalk here, you can see some of these old facades and storefronts are really, really amazing and quite beautiful to see. I don't even know what these buildings are. Maybe they're even apartments. Who knows? Continuing to walk toward my my truck. Just admiring the beauty on this fall day of Gretna, Louisiana. And you can see the the, the levee there. Oh, and there it goes. Extended, like I said, for miles and miles. We're coming up on the Jefferson Memorial Park here walking through here heading toward city hall phoenix ironworks let's take a look at that sign see a lot of monuments to the confederate cause phoenix ironworks approximately 200 feet southwest of this site guess first gun for the confederate navy on may 4th 1861 there you have it so you see these types of monuments and memorials and markers all over the south and this is some of the frust frustration that african americans feel because you can't go too far without being reminded of a bygone era so here we have going through the jefferson memorial they would have to do a lot of tearing down to 
be rid of all of the monuments, markets, and memorials dedicated to the Southern cause. And even here, I mean, not flowers are symbols of peace, but of power and cannons and so on. Again, but just real quaint, real beautiful, real peaceful now and family oriented, as you can see. Get away from the shopping centers, the malls and the big chain outlets and, and head back and rediscover your own little downtown shopping areas.